guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is audrey rosier i am your local realtor in the baltimore metro and central maryland areas in this video i'm currently actually at an open house and i wanted to show you um, what 750 760 thousand dollars would get you in hanover maryland um, it's going to be an informal video kind of just like vlog style because like i said i'm doing an open house but i just wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like When you first come in, this is the front door. Uh, this is, is a kind of like an informal welcome area. It could be like a sitting area. Um, this house is listed at 759,000 and it has six bedrooms and four full bathrooms. It also has uh, four, over 4,000 square feet total, including the, the basement. And um, I'm just kind of trying to give you like an idea of um, what it would look like. It was built in 2018, so it's relatively new. So let's check it out. So that's our, uh, that's, that's my lender and my sister. This is the living space here, um, which is actually a decent size. It has a, um, a backstore patio. Um, the kitchen is also here. You have a um, eat-in breakfast bar, granite countertops. There is the guest range. Um, heading outside, it's raining, so I'm not really gonna, I'm gonna show y'all like this. <laughs> this is what it looks like out there. Um, you have pantry here. Like I said, there is recessed lighting throughout the entire house. It's, it was built in 2018, so it's relatively new. Um, we have some snacks here, all of that. Um, a lot of built-in storage space as well. Um, some of these units have uh, double ovens. We are in the Shipley Homestead um, subdivision. So seeing some of these houses were built by Beezer, some of these are built by Ryan Homes. This happens to be a Ryan Home build. And um, some of them have wall, like double wall ovens. This one does not. So. A lot of them have the full bedroom on the main level, and a lot of the times it has the also the full bathroom on the main level. So this is perfect for anybody who, um, you know, like wants to help their family or have in-home care kind of space. This is also a lot of the times in these builds. This is the um, Ballinger model, but I uh, sold a Hudson model, which was a little bit bigger than this one down the street. This was a welcome area in there. So they had um, some, some seating um, and all that because it backs right to the garage. So two car garage there. We're gonna go down the steps. Um, so this is the basement. Um, really nice size basement. Uh, there are finished parts to this basement. Of course, there are unfinished parts. When you first come down and to the right, there's this unfinished space. I haven't, some people finish it off, some people don't. The majority of people don't because it's kind of a utility space. There's a sub pump in there and everything. Um, continuing through the basement, um, there's a hallway here. There's also, this one has a walkout basement as well. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It is um, specific to whoever the homeowner is. This is a utility space. Unfinished. Um, so, and then this one also has a full, this one also has a full-blown um, bedroom on the main level with a full-size window. Um, egress is what it's called. So that if you need it to in the event of a fire, get out of the house, you can. There's also an, <coughs> excuse me, there's also another full-size bathroom down here with its uh, private pantry or linen closet. So now we're gonna head upstairs. So up here, there is an additional four bedrooms. We're gonna check out the master or the owner suite last. Coming up, stairs are there. The four bedrooms are here. This is gonna be your first bedroom, which is about the size of a guest bedroom. A lot of these also have kind of like walk-in closets. They're really nice sizes, actually. So it's a nice size closet. And then in here, you have a laundry room which isn't like substantially big or anything. Um, I feel like you could probably put shelving here or something here, but in general, the laundry builds, the laundry rooms in these builds aren't huge. All right, so here you have a main closet up here, which is a decent size. This one has the six bedrooms. So like I said, there's one on the main level, one on the um, basement level. Same thing about the same size closet in here. Kind of like a walk-in. Um, and then we'll head into this room, which 
This one is the only room that actually doesn't have like a pop-in on a closet. It has a pretty standard size closet, honestly. It's kind of just your basic run mill closet. And then there's also another full bathroom here to be shared between everybody on this level. Again, there's a lot of recessed lighting throughout this entire house with your tray ceilings. All right, so this is actually a pretty big um, owner suite. Has um, a lot of natural light in here, which is nice. Carpet. Um, there are two uh, closets in here. Two walk-ins actually, his and hers, or hers and hers, or his and his, whatever you like. Um, so it looks like. And then coming through here, this one is actually, um, it looks like they wanted a tub and also wanted a stand up shower. Sometimes it's either, it's either or in these models. Um, because these were like, you know, the, the, you had you could choose your finishes. And these were built between, um, I believe, like 2017 and 2020. That's when they stopped building. So you have your private room to use the restroom there. There's a double vanity here with granite countertops. This is the second walk in closet here. on both sides so it's pretty big uh, and then over here you have your stand-up shower and you also have your sitting tub so, we can so that is what seven hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars that's the asking price at least um, during July of 2022 <laughs> we'll see what happens with prices but that is what seven hundred fifty nine thousand dollars gets you during this time in Hanover Maryland Hanover is uh, conveniently located to BWI Airport, um, Fort Meade, it, you know, they have pretty good schools as well. This particular subdivision has a, it's very, I would say, um, it's actually a really good subdivision for amen amenities wise. There's a pool and there's, you know, your playgrounds and then there's a lots of paths and stuff. And I see people running all the time here, um, you know, so it's, it really is just like a nice community and um, it is right up the street from Fort Meade. So that's why it's super desirable and why the prices seem I mean, I wouldn't even say they're expensive, you know, but it is relatively expensive if you if you got the same house somewhere else on the outskirts of Maryland, it'll be substantially cheaper. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free. Oops. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, like I said, I am the Maryland, um, Central Maryland and Baltimore Metro area resource here. And um, if you're looking at other parts of Maryland, that's okay too. I can still assist you, um, even if it's connecting with a partner a, a partner agent that I trust um, to assist my clients. So feel free to let me know. And uh, thank you so much for watching and to the end and take care and have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.